Hey guys, Team Man Plays here. Uh, today we're going to be playing another Warno ranked game. You can see we're playing as the fifth Blindy, and we are versus the 82nd Airborne. So just to go over the deployment real quick, you can see we have two AMX 10s on this left hand side that'll just be going to these forest positions, followed up with some recon infantry and some other recon infantry that'll be going to this little tree line. The other one's going here. Behind that, we have a Milan 2 going to the building, a Mistral following with the recon infantry, some supply that'll just be sitting back, and then two AMX 30B2s that'll be going to this area so that they can have fire support along this tree line. In the middle, we just have some infantry and a supply. You can see our infantry just going to be spreading out between these buildings. Uh, since he is playing 82nd Airborne, I know he has four deployable troops, so he'll probably reach this tree line before me. So that's why we're just going for the placement inside our own zone instead of trying to get to the other side. On the right hand side, two units of recon infantry, one going here, the other going to watch this area on the far right. And then a Milan 2 that's just going to be sitting in this building in the back with a Mistral that'll be in the building next to it to provide any type of uh, support against helicopters. So we can see he has a little bird out, so I'm going to buy a Mirage 3, send that in to take out the little bird, however he gets hit by the Avenger and the Stinger. So that's not a very good trade for us at the start. I also see he already has units here, so I'm going to unload my infantry just in time as the military police starts to engage. And we're just going to start walking up our infantry with our, our VAB support. You can see I've also unloaded this 50 cal. And our infantry is just going to be slowly advancing. Not too much happening on the right side. Just... On the left though, you can see my tanks have arrived and are offering fire support as well as the AMX-10s. However, there's a tow firing from back here, which we cannot spot yet. Infantry making progress, and we do finally spot the tow. It takes out our recon there. Vab's still providing good fire support on this infantry. However, the tow manages to hit one of the AMX B2s before I can smoke it off. With this AMX-10, I thought I'd be able to pull it back in time so that the tow wouldn't be able to see through the tree line. However, the tow could actually see farther than I thought. Should have just smoked that off. I just didn't want to waste the smoke. You can see some laser guided bombs come in, hit my infantry here. One squad does survive though without getting hit. And we're just slowly going to be hitting some of this infantry that's making its way across because our recon here can see it. So not a terrible start for us. Uh, we have lost both our tanks and one of our AMX 10s though, so we are very weak on this side now. However, we at least have a foothold, even though it's just basically two infantry squads on this right hand side. You can see that most of this stuff is here. So now I'm just going to be bringing up my supply, try and get my Grenadier Voltagers back up to full HP. On the right side, still not much happening. Just focusing very hard on this middle area right now. So you can see I'm engaging this tow too, just pulling my AMX-10 back into the smoke so that it dodges the tow. And then we're just going to attack, move it back, get another shot off. And when we see the tow flying, we're just going to reverse back and then attack move again. However, his tow does end up running away before we can kill it. On the right side here, he is starting to advance with some military police. But we're just solely concentrating on this area in the middle. See, I have got my Grenadier Voltagers all healed up now. We do lose the Recon Squad on the right. Push up the VAB to offer fire support. However, there is a bunch of Airborne Dragon units. Uh, I think there was one in this tree line, then there's the one here. Yeah, there's the one from the tree line firing. 
Trying to get my Vav across. It does get hit in the side. Can also see that he now has a Kiowa and a Heavy Hog. And my only anti-air unit on the front is this Mistral. I got a little ambitious with this recon squad. Uh, considering I have nothing to support it, I should have just kept this back. And you can see he's just slowly pushing on this right hand side with some infantry. Let's see, now that my recon squad is spotted, it's going to be taken out. Kaiwa okay, going to fire the rockets there. Some more laser guided bombs coming in, hitting my Milan 2 and killing it. On the right hand side, we get a shot with the Mistral into the Heavy Hog. But now his infantry is going to be coming across, and we only have the one squad of Grenadier Voltagers. We missed the second Mistral shot. Now that Heavy Hog gets on target, and we don't have a chance. Try and bring out the VLRA, maybe get some shots out with the 50 cal on top. However, that goes down pretty quickly. And we have no front right, no front line on this right side now. So you can see I'm going to be bringing up an AMX-10, some more infantry, because I know I got to at least push back to here. By this time, I'm thinking that he has a solid push coming on this right hand side. So you can see in the middle, since he, I think he's distracted on the right, I moved up my Mistral, managed to kill the Kiowa. But. With this recon squad about to go down, we're about to have no vision on this right-hand side. Let's see, I got a CD coming up for the middle. And because of his helicopters, I brought up two Mistral units. Had these tanks sitting in the back because I have no recon here. I don't know if he has toes here that will be able to fire upon these, so I'm just holding these back for now and pushing the infantry. Do lose my command there to a, I think it's a dragon unit in this tree line. So that was very unfortunate. And he's got some more airborne dragon here that are pushing across. So I had to move my MX-10 back. I try making a small push here with my infantry. Not much success though. Bringing a Jaguar HE does take out the dragon. Although we lose our HE bomb and it actually lands on my machine gun squad. So not very good. We do come straight up on these airborne dragons though, which is nice because we got within their minimum firing range. More laser guided bombs dropping there, hitting my infantry. And now we're just trying to push back on this right hand side, regain the ground that we've lost. I'm pulling back this infantry now because he has, he outnumbers me in this area, so I, I just need to pull back and uh, try and keep it alive. Already ordering up another command there. Uh, when I was originally playing this, I actually did not see my command go down, so I just thought I actually did not order a command unit. So you can see we're also pretty... Uh, light on the left side here with only the AMX-10 covering. Has a decent line of sight though. Can see the toe there, so we're going to smoke off our V2. However, we really need some recon here. So we're just supporting our machine gun with our V2s here, firing at this infantry across the open. Perfect little line of sight there. And with our infantry on the right, we're pushing back to the uh, areas that we lost. So I did move um, the machine gun to this building now. It has a nice overview of this little area so we can't just push infantry across. Uh, the machine guns are really great at just stunning infantry and then taking them out. Uh, with the Mirage 3 there we took out a little bird. But on this left hand side we're in trouble now because he has some airborne engineers that have come up and I have no infantry. So we're going to be pulling back this AMX-10. 
And we see he has another heavy hog already up. So one of my mistrels here, I moved up a little bit closer so that if I get more infantry in this little tree line, the mistral will be able to hit helicopters. Yeah, I tried moving its infantry across. However, the heavy hogs quickly destroyed that infantry. Uh, Milan T unit got a little careless with that. Just let that die. Mistral's trying to hit these heavy hogs. Do take out the one there. And we take out the other. Because it actually landed. So our tank here was able to fire on it. Machine gunner there takes out our infantry. We're fine just to hold this area. And you can see our tanks offering really good fire support on these infantry engagements. So we're going to pull this infantry back now so that if he wants to pursue, our tanks can offer fire support on it. And you can see now the now the tank starts firing. However, his Sheridans end up taking out my infantry before I can get them retreated and repaired. Left hand side here, engineer is going to take out my voltagers very easily. And I see that he's putting more units here. So I'm going to have to build up some type of defense there. More laser guided bombs drop here. Do take out the plane. I actually don't think they killed anything. So that was nice for us. Do lose my VLRA recon there. And I see now he has units coming down this left hand side. AMX 30 V2, hitting the Sheridans nicely. And we also brought up an AMX 10 in the street line. I do know there's some type of dragon unit here, so I am being very cautious with how I'm approaching this area. And without having infantry in here, I know that I quickly need to get some up, so that's what these Grinder Voltagers are for. I'm just gonna unload them back here and then push them back in the street line so that I maintain some type of foothold of this objective. I did bring up some more recon, that way we can see any type of unit that comes in here. So overall we're still in a pretty decent position. Uh, we're up 482 points and we're still contesting our zone here against an airborne division, which is nice because he should have a lot better position here since he has the forward deployability and I do not. So. The more we contest this zone, and the better we trade, we're going to be able to push him out. However, on this right-hand side, we've lost a bunch of ground. So it's getting harder and harder to push infantry in here. You can see a dragon unit now firing at my tank. I'm going to smoke that off very quickly. And on this left-hand side, we're just sitting here with an AMX-10 and a VAB, making sure he doesn't push down this line. Try to move my command. Didn't know he could actually see it from there, but these airborne scouts, when they came out, he was able to spot my command. Do take out another helicopter there with my Mirage 3. But fly a little too close to the stinger there and end up losing it. So important infantry engagements going on now. I'm hoping that by now I have enough infantry and fire support around to be able to take out his infantry here. You can see the tanks doing a very nice job of hitting the machine guns in the open. And the VABs providing nice fire support on this airborne, as well as the 50 cal in the building. Since my infantry over here is getting low, I'm moving across the supply vehicle in order to heal that up. I want to keep as many of these alive as possible. And I've just brought up some more Grenadier Voltagers that are just sitting here right now. They should unload, and then I'm going to push these forward since I know he still has infantry in this area. I marked where that dragon unit was firing from because I bought a bomber in order to hit that. So I see it fire again and decide now is the time that I'm going to bomb that, get rid of it so that I can push this area. So you can see bomber comes in as we're pushing across on the left hand side there. And hits the mark perfectly. 
and our Jaguar HE does not take any fire. Smoke off my B2 here as something hit it. I think it was the Sheridan missile. We end up hitting back with our P4 Milan though. So now we're slowly going to push up these B2s. Uh, I know I damaged his tank pretty badly. You can see it only has two points of health left. Do end up killing that M1 IP before it can escape. So that's a very nice kill for us. Kiowa here firing some Hellfire missiles. So I need to deal with that immediately before it takes out my AMX-10. Plane flying above the Avengers and the Stinger again, gets taken out. Those Stingers were really uh, a menace this game for me. They were they were taking out a lot of my planes, so don't underestimate the Stingers. Left-hand side here, Voltagers getting outgunned. Uh, this engineer squad moving across, it's just gonna take those out. I have no chance. However, in the middle here, our infantry is starting to actually win some engagements. Uh, I did move across my command here. Since I know if he got recon in this area, he'd be able to spot my command again. Or he could bomb it with a plane. So I decided I wanted to move it into a different position this time. I saw the engineers go here, and I knew his airborne were on low health. So I decided to move across the VAB, hopefully win this engagement. And now we're starting to push with our tanks and our recon. I'm thinking at this point, he shouldn't have many units here, and since I took down his M1 IP, he shouldn't have much to contest my B2s. So you can see, just slowly starting to gain ground back in the middle here. Our VAB actually does end up taking out the airborne there. You can see the airborne goes down. Another Hellfire Kiowa here in the middle. Hits the VLRA. I don't have any smoke for this. I tried smoking this off. However, it was out of smoke, so you can see I tried reversing it there at the end. Nothing was going to be able to save that. Transport trying to get away. Gets hit with another Hellfire. No terrible losses from that. And I've now pushed up my recon infantry to scout what he has in this area. Our tank's going to be shooting on his machine guns there, but I don't want to lose my recon squad, so I'm going to pull that back. AMX-10, trying to find the, the kill on the supply there. So since I know it's a machine gun, I move across my truck so that my infantry can live. And now we're just going to uh, destroy that machine gun squad. Plane coming across there, not sure what that is. But we brought up some sapuri, or some sappers, and they are going to retake control of this area on the left. F-16C, this was an interesting choice. And we end up actually taking it down with a Mistral and a Roland 2. I didn't have any seed on the field. And the only seed I'd be able to have is the Roland 3s. So that was a very interesting choice that he brought the, uh, the seed aircraft there. Let's see, he's trying to make another move for the tow here. End up missing with our P4 Milan. Humvee Toe never misses as it has 65% accuracy, and I think at this veteran seed level it's around 74% chance to hit. More infantry heading up to the middle here so that I can increase my front, front line presence. However, now I'm concentrating on this area on the left. I want to have him kicked out of here so that I can more concentrate on this middle ground area. I don't want him to be able to flank me on this left-hand side. So you can see I just have a P4 Milan sitting back here. Gonna be firing on this Humvee. Misses as he gets behind the tree line. Move up my VAB to hit his airborne scouts. 
Lose another one toward the Humvee toe there. And I decide that I don't think he has any AA on this side, so I'm going to use these Gazelle Hot Twos to take out some of these Humvee Toes. So you can see I'm just slowly pushing up this Hot Two. Spot his Humvee Toe. However, he calls in an F4E Phantom to deal with that. I counter that with a Mirage F1C, takes out his Phantom, perfect. In the middle here, starting to push across with my infantry that came up, and these AMX-10s. See his Abrams trying to fire upon me. Smoke that off, because we don't want to lose it. Lose my F1C. Uh, I think we took out a Kiowa. Yeah, that was a Kiowa. But, so far our push is going okay. However, this M1IP is an issue. He had some other type of Dragon Squad here. Drop some more HE on it. And I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to deal with this M1IP. So you can see I'm bringing this B2 across to get it close. So that maybe we can sneak a good hit in there. Kill it from close range. And my other tanks are all guarding this middle tree line area as I'm pushing across my infantry. See the B2 getting close. Get a nice shot in on the M1 IP there. The other shot kills it. Humpy Toe though, does hit my B2 and take revenge. I originally called in this HE bomber to hit the tank in case my B2 missed, but now that's no longer a problem. AMX-10 about to go down to the Humvee Toe, but Neff does surrender. As you can see, we were trading much better in the middle. Uh, Neff, uh, when I played this game, he was ranked 17th. Not a bad player. 294 wins, 101 defeats. So as we go through the, the kills and losses here, you can see AMX-10 did reasonably well. Uh, our Mirage 3s took out what they needed to with the Kiowas. Those were providing pretty much all his recon, or reconnaissance. So that was nice that we took those out. Jaguar HE bombers did kill the Airborne Dragon, killed the M1 IP. Other M1 IP went down to the B2. AMX-10, I believe this is the one on the left-hand side. I uh, killed some Airborne Scouts, Humpy Toe, Airborne Scouts, some Airborne. Not too bad. Other than that, no really good trades. Uh, you can see his Stinger took out three of my aircraft. These AB Toes also killing several tanks and an AMX. Humpy Toe again killed my command in the middle. Um, other than that, no real standouts besides this Airborne Engineers, which was on the left hand side. I countered this with Sappers way too late, so the Grenadier Vultures didn't really stand a chance. But luckily, we corrected that. So yeah. GG'd enough, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.